Ola Win 68 He Pro Magnetic Switch Function Setting Guide. First, copy the WebDriver link for the Win 68 He Max. Paste into your browser's address bar. To access the driver page, click Connect Keyboard. Select Win 68 He Max in the pop up model list. Switch to English. Now enter the Magnetic Axis Function Settings interface. Begin Keyboard Calibration. Navigate to Performance Settings. Keyboard Calibration. Start Calibration. Press the key down fully, hold for 1 minus 2 seconds, and gently wiggle it in all directions up, down, left, right. Calibration Notice. Do not press and release keys too quickly. This will cause inaccurate calibration results. Calibrate every key individually. Successfully calibrated keys will turn green. After calibrating all keys, click Save Calibration. Click on Performance Settings. Select Normal Travel Setting. In the keyboard layout above, all keys have RT disabled by default. Global Trigger refers to the trigger settings for all keys. Per Key Trigger refers to the trigger settings for a selected key. A green check mark indicates the selected key. Green numbers indicate the actuation travel has been configured. Your selected key's actuation travel is now successfully configured. First, let's test this out. For example, set a single key travel for the W key with an actuation point of 2 1 mm. All other unselected keys follow the global travel set at 1 mm. When pressing any key other than W, it will actuate immediately upon exceeding 1 mm of travel, whereas the W key requires 2.1 mm of travel to actuate. First, set up RT mode based on your preferences. RT mode uses dynamic rapid triggering. It starts registering from the first actuation point, then keeps triggering multiple times while pressing and releasing. Take the A key for example. Its first trigger point is at 3.4 millimeters. That means you must press it all the way down to trigger. Dynamic reset. Set to activate a 2 millimeters lift. Dynamic trigger 1 millimeter. Now, let's test the RT mode settings for the A key. First trigger stroke. When the key is initially pressed and reaches 3.4 millimeters of travel. The first key actuation is triggered. Dynamic reset travel during key release. If the upward travel displacement reaches more than 2 millimeter relative to the initial actuation point, the current actuation state terminates. Dynamic trigger travel press. If the key is pressed again, ray activation occurs immediately. When the downward travel displacement differs by more than 1 mm from the last reset position, the dead zone setting under advanced settings is to prevent false touches or missed inputs. If set to 0 mm, even slight sensing when a hand rests on the keyboard will trigger key presses. It is recommended to set it to 0.2 mm. A higher polling rate results in lower latency. Multiple polling rate options are available here. After setting the polling rate, you need to reconnect the keyboard. Keyboard settings are available for Windows and Mac systems. Please select based on the operating system of your current computer. To rebuild keys, simply drag and drop letters, numbers, or other keys from the lower section directly onto the keyboard layout area. To complete your configuration, the keyboard has four FN layers. FN0, default layer. FN1, function zone layer. FN2, multimedia zone layer. FN3, requires additional keys to activate. First, implement FN1 layer usage. Press the FN1 button. The keyboard layout above will show common shortcut keys. Now press FN1 plus one of these function keys to activate its function. 
Example, press FN1 plus right drill to activate FN2 layer. Using the FN2 layer, press FN2. You'll see this layer has play music and stop music functions. Setting FN1 plus right drill plus play will play music. Now, back on the FN0 default layer. You can set the right control key to act as FN2. And set the right ALT key to act as FN3. On FN2 layer, set the key at ESC position to output A. On FN3 layer, set the key at ESC position to output B. Press and hold the right control key together with the ESC key to input A. Press and hold the right ALT key together with the ESC key to input B. Assign the advanced key. Let's use the one key as an example. Click DK's dynamic keystroke system. Configure points A, B, C, D. Set the actuation point and release point travel distances. Click Save. Let's test it. Other advanced keys follow the same process. Simply follow the instructions. SOCD behavior is most noticeable in games. Let's test this in game. When SOCD isn't bound, simultaneously holding two opposite direction keys, locks the character in a static state. Movement becomes impossible. After binding the SOCD keys, any newly pressed direction key will forcibly release the previous one. Only one directional input registers at any given moment, making character movement significantly more responsive. This dedicated key is for assigning MACRO configurations. Record your MACRO sequence in MACRO Manager.
return to advanced keys, assign MACRO, setup complete. Make sure to carefully read the upgrade instructions. Once confirmed to enter update mode, the keyboard will become unresponsive. Normal function will resume only after the firmware update is complete. This concludes all feature demonstrations. Thank you for watching.